Do you want to run Free Fire or other Android games on your PC? But no OS is working, and no emulator seems to work either. So if you're facing any of these issues, then this video is just for you. In this tutorial, I'll show you a tool that lets you play Free Fire as well as other high-end Android games on your PC without even downloading them. So let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, you need to download this file. The direct link is available on my website, and it's just 11 megabytes, so it'll download really quickly. Make sure the Windows you're using is 64-bit, otherwise it won't work. However, you can also try the browser version instead if your PC is based on 32-bit, as I've already made a detailed video for that. Once the download is complete, go ahead and launch the software. Make sure your internet connection is on. Next, you'll see the license agreement. Accept it and click on the Install button. After that, the software will download some additional files, so just let it do its thing. Once the files are downloaded, the installation will complete and the software will automatically launch after just a few seconds. Now, you might see a black screen at first, but don't worry, you can easily fix this. Just restart the software two to three times and the problem will be resolved. As you can see here, the software has successfully launched. The next step is to create an account, and for that you can use your Google account, as well temporary email instead. To do this, click on this button and choose the login option. After that, open Chrome and go to the following website. From there, copy your email and paste it into the required field here. After that, go back to Chrome again and copy the verification code from there, then paste it into the software. Once you do that, your account will be successfully created. So, the software has been successfully installed, and now I'll give you a complete overview. First of all, you'll see that you get up to 6 hours of playtime, which you'll receive daily. In addition to playing games online, you can also download them. But keep in mind, to install these games, you'll need a high-end PC, because all the games you install can only be played through the LD player. Even if you have an APK file, you can install it right here on this software. Also, if you want to play games online, you need to go to this tab. Here, you'll find a huge library of games. The best part is that new games are added to this app on a monthly basis. So whatever game you want to play, let's say I want to play Free Fire, just click on it and the game will launch. You might see a little bit of a queue sometimes, but for most games, you won't face this issue. And if your game crashes, just reopen it once or twice, and it should start working perfectly. So, as you can see, the game has launched, and now I'll quickly log in using a guest account. The main thing to note is that you can only play in guest mode. I tried signing in using Google, but it didn't work. As you can see, the match has started and is running pretty smoothly. Even the predefined controls are working really well. However, sometimes the FPS drops a bit because my internet isn't very stable. Overall, this tool is really good compared to Android emulators, and you should definitely give it a try. But if you have a 32-bit PC, then check out the video on the left. In that tutorial, I tried the browser version of this tool. So click on that video, and I'll meet you there. Bye!